Saved by Grace Ministries in San Francisco, coming to you live from Jesus Christ the Lord Full Gospel Church in Sicily, California, from Pastor Jewel Ruffin. Father God, we come before the throne of grace, giving you the praise, glory, and honor, for this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I ask you to anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, so that the word come out of my mouth is what thus say the Lord. Such the mind, body, soul, and spirit of everyone in attendance today. Let their hearts not be hardened, but open to receive what thus say the Lord. I've been stoned for them today. You know what they need to hear. I don't, but I present myself to you as a living sacrifice to be used by that purpose, and I am dependent upon every word that cometh from me to be what thus say the Lord, and everyone say it. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. All right. My message to you today is God's ready. Are you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because that's the season we're in right now. That's right. God's ready, but are you ready? Hmm. Not only for what you need God to do for you, but what God needs you to do for him. Praise the Lord. Everybody want all the blessings, but they don't want to do what they need to do in order for God to bless them. But if that was the case, then you would be God and he would be you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What has God called you to do? Not everyone is called to full-time ministry. God's plan for some is to work in secular businesses or some other field. Wherever you are, you are called to make an impact. What are you expecting him to do for you and through you? Jeremiah 9, verse 11, no, Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. And that reads as thus. 29, 11 to 13. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and you shall seek me and find me, when you shall search for me with all your heart. So what are you expecting God to do for you? Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. That means whatever you need, you're expecting God to do for you, through you, in you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But now what is God expecting you to do for him? Hello? Hello? That you shall call upon him. Praise the Lord. You shall hearken unto him. Praise the Lord. You shall go and pray to him. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then he will answer you. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. And you shall seek him. And find him. When you shall search for him. With all your heart. See, this is a two-way street. Everybody want God to do for them, but they don't want to do nothing for him. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell people all the time, when you have, don't have time to spend time in the Word and in prayer, what you're saying is you don't have time for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, But you expect him to be on prayer for you 24 hours a day. It don't work like that. God is always there ready to help. The Holy Spirit is waiting to move on your behalf when you trust him. The Holy Spirit is the power of God moving in your life. Praise the Lord. Romans 8, verse 14 to 18, and then 26 to 27. Romans 8, verse 14 to 18, and then verse 26 to 27. Romans 8. 
verse 14 to 18, and then verse 26 to 27. What is my topic again? God is ready, but are you ready? Praise the Lord. Romans 8, <clears throat> verse 14 to 18, reads as follows. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you receive the spirit of sonship, and of by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself testifies that our spirit, that we are God's children. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God, co-heirs with Christ Jesus. Do I have any heirs in the house today? If indeed we share in his suffering, in us order that we may also share in his glory. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. So that's it. Don't nobody want to suffer. But in order for you, but in order for you to get to heaven, you got to be willing to go through something. Mm -hmm. Didn't Jesus go through something? Hello. Mm -hmm. And ain't no one yet has left has, has suffered to the point where you had to shed your blood. Right. But everybody's always complaining. Woe is me. Praise the Lord when you sit, should be saying, God bless me. God keep me. God help me. Shortest prayer in the Bible is Lord say, Peter was sinking. And all Jesus had to do was put his hand out to him. You know how close he was to Jesus? Mm -hmm. Before he took his eyes off Jesus. That's right. How many of y'all do that? I know somebody that do that. You got to keep your eyes on Jesus 24-7. Mm -hmm. Because he got his eye on you. Mm -hmm. Hello? Bible say you are co-heir. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So the Lord God the Father loves you just as much as he loved Jesus. Because when he looks down on you, he don't see you. He see who? He see Jesus. Because mm -hmm. you got the blood covering That's over right. you. That's the purpose for the blood. To, call, to have you be reunited with God the Father. Expecting faith is the trigger that causes God to move on our behalf. Right. Hebrews 11 and 6 and James 12 verse 5 to 8. The first one is Hebrews 11 and 6. Again, my topic is God's ready, but are you ready? <clears throat> Not only for what you want him to do for you, but what he needs you to do for him. What a word, what a word, what a word. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 and 6. And then James verse uh, 1, 5 to 8. Expecting faith is the trigger that causes God to move on your behalf. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Again, we see that word seek. My question to you today is how many of y'all seeking him? Amen. Not only for, 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 for what you, uh, you, uh, what you need him to do for you, but for what he needs you to do for him. Praise the Lord. That's what I do. Everything I do, I do for the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. That's why I can be in a wheelchair and have joy in my heart, peace of mind, and happiness in my soul. Because it's not about me, it's about him. That's right. And what he's going to do with me, for me, through me, and in me in a situation where I can't do nothing for myself. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. James 1, 5 to 8. Again, my topic is God's ready. Are you ready? 
James 1, verse 5 to 8. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he will receive anything of the Lord. For a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Do I have any unstable people here today? Praise the Lord. I should tell you something right there. You are wavering in fear and doubt. Fear and doubt is the opposite of faith. Praise the Lord. And that's what the devil comes to all the time. To get you focusing on you and what you're going through instead of focusing on Jesus, who's the only one that can bring you through. Because if you could help you, you wouldn't be worried about you, not would you? Praise the Lord. So we need to realize, he said right here, don't think you're going to get anything from God if you don't believe that he can do what you're asking him to do. And it's amazing to me how many Christians do that. Mm -hmm. They go to God and ask God, and then they uh, say, uh, don't think that he's going to be able to do it. There's nothing too hard for God. What's impossible with man? What's impossible with you? It's possible with God. And all you got to do is believe that he can do it for you. Mm -hmm. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your husband, not your wife, not your children, not your brother, your sisters, but for you. Praise the Lord. Because that's the season we're in right now. Don't ever think that God would do less than what he has said in his word. If he said it, he's going to do it, and he will bring it to pass. John 15, verse 7 to 8, and then verse 16. <clears throat> Is anybody getting any help here this morning? Yes. John 15. We need to realize that everyone <clears throat> that profess to be a child of God must believe that he can do anything that you need him to do for you. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Again, John 15, verse 7 to 8, and then verse 16. Verse 7, John 15, verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done for you. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done for you. Praise the Lord. Praise him. In the Lord. beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. And in verse 14, it said, It manifested itself in the flesh, and it came down on the earth, and it got up on the cross, and died for our sins. Praise the Lord. Herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. So if Jesus is the Word, and if the Word abide in you, that means Jesus abide in you. And if the Jesus abide in you and you abide in Jesus, why would the Father not answer your request? Because who is God? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> so why would he not honor his own request to himself? Mm -hmm. How many of y'all try to do what you want to do right. for you? Mm -hmm. Even when you know 
you don't, you're not supposed to. Right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, we were created in his image. So every trait that we have is the same traits that he has too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 16. <clears throat> 